Hello there, people of the internet. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing all right, thanks for asking. Uh, been a little while since I've destroyed car parts with my Mosin, so I figured uh, I'm bored. Uh, I got the day off, <laughs> and I want something to shoot at. So this right here is the turn signal switch from my 86 Mercury Cougar. Uh, gave out on me, I swapped it out, been saving it for a rainy day for whenever I felt like stepping out to blow something up, and didn't really know what I felt like blowing up. So. I decided to go ahead and keep this thing. Uh, tonight, or today, I'm going to be running uh, 54 rimmed through my uh, 9130. It's just an unrefurbished 9130. Nothing special about it, but I still think that this is going to be pretty cool. I'm running ball ammunition, just full metal jackets, so I don't think we're going to see anything too terribly crazy, but I still think it's going to be neat to watch this thing fly around as it's hit with a bunch of lead. Now I don't really foresee this thing surviving too terribly many rounds, which is why I did not bring that many rounds with me. But if I need more rounds, I'm sure that uh, I'll have the capacity <laughs> to go grab more. I just don't feel like walking all the way out there. Oh hey look, I grabbed a full five rounds. I thought I only grabbed four. Oh well, just dropped one, so I've only got four now. Come here you! Alright, let the blatant destruction begin. Let's see what a 54 rim does to this thing. Well, I shot it. It spun a little bit. Let's uh, see the results. You know, all things considered, I bet if I were to plug this thing back in, straighten out the copper a little bit, it would probably still work. So, this ain't good enough. I don't know. It might not work. Maybe. This ain't good enough, let's hit it again. Oh goodness, that's a little far out there. Let me see if I can manage to make that shot. Guess it probably helps if I have one chambered. All right, here we go. Nope, fired high. Uh, Mosin's fire a little bit high uh, from their aim point. And I'm not entirely sure. Well, I wasn't sure where to aim with this thing at this distance. Guess now I know. We go. Definitely hit it that time and sent it flying. Let me go grab that. Alright, we got ourselves a good hit. I'm not sure if that's the entry or the exit wound, but the bullet passed through this hole and passed through this hole right here. My bet is that maybe we managed to get the round right inside this hole and it just came out right there, but I'm not certain. Alright, well, I still have a few more rounds. Let's keep hitting it. Looks like I've got two left. I think it's two. Might be three, but I'm pretty sure it's two. I will, haven't been counting. Here we go. Uh, I hit it, but that one seems to have just passed right through. Didn't even move. So one more round. Let's hit it again. Well, that time I know I hit it pretty decently. It's a shame it didn't fly like it did last time I hit it. Well, we've completely destroyed the plastic on this thing in its entirety <laughs> and we still have more plastic falling off of it uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and say that this probably will not work at this point but it was still fun blowing up uh, <laughs> um, and i have no idea why it broke in the first place it's a little too destroyed now for me to be able to tell that Anyway guys, this was fun. I just wanted to come blow something up uh, before the weather got too bad. Looks like we got some rain coming in this way. So I guess I'm going to go take shelter inside. Thanks for watching.
since I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> Poor man's Garen. <laughs> it's a shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream. 